This is a uh, video 16. Hi. Well, uh, I'm very excited about this video because this video, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, human race. We're going to talk about IQ. We're going to talk about EQ. And we're going to talk about the habits of mankind. Because um, it is important to understand uh, where you're coming from. Uh, it is also very important to understand your colleagues. Uh, if you are running a company, then you got to know what are your behavior of the people in the company. All right. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna uh, uh, what are gonna, uh, discuss about it. Uh, divert a little bit from uh, the normal topics we talk about. Normally we talk about the creativity and so forth. So today we're gonna talk about human, the human behavior towards creativity. Okay. So um, as you know, a uh, country like Malaysia. Uh, we are very blessed. We are very blessed with uh, people from different culture. Uh, we have got the Malay, uh, we have got the Chinese, uh, we have also got the Indian, and we also got a Sabahan and a Sarawakian, which actually is broken down into many other races as well. So uh, the good part about this um, diversity is because uh, you get to have a lot of blend of culture. You get a lot of blend of tradition. So you come up with new colors, uh, different colors, you know. You, when you blend, you get something different, right? Uh, then you have got languages. When you blend the languages, then you give birth to another language, right? So, so what happened? It gives a chance for us to create new things again. You see? So there's always an opportunity. I think in other videos I spoke about, in every disaster, beneath the di disaster, uh, there is an opportunity. Same as this. In every fusion, every conversion of religion, conversion of race, conversion of uh, mankind, there is also an opp opportunity for uh, creativity to take place. Okay? So um, let's talk about a little bit about uh, intelligence. Um, if you are from the same family with the same bloodline, I think science has proven that your your intellectual, your newborn, your 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 down the road, down the line, are not that clever. All right. So in Malaysia, a country where you get mix of this uh, parentage, and then after this uh, different parent, uh, say Europe. Uh, British married Chinese then after that uh, you get a son uh, who is uh, Eurasian then married uh, uh, Indian then uh, you get a blend of a Eurasian and an Indian and then after that you go down you blend again uh, with a Malay I tell you <laughs> so the more you blend the more clever you are that's just nature that's just nature all right and again <coughs> This type of people, the more they blend, the clever, uh, how to say, the more clever they are emotionally as well. The IQ part, the EQ, the EQ part of it. So science has proven that um, um, a country that has got a mixed culture, a mixed race, uh, they perform better. So that's why, that's why I'm telling you, I have gone to compete in Geneva. I have gone out to. Uh, to other country uh, to compete uh, in, in invention and uh, guess what every time the winner is announced it's a Malaysian and even the special award is also a Malaysian <laughs> that's how we are in the world if you don't uh, if you don't realize uh, some of the students are from Malaysia that goes to Oxford University top student Malaysian if you have students from Malaysia, Singapore, that goes to Cambridge. Top student, yes, either from Malaysia or Singapore. See, this, this, is, this is how it is. This is a reality. This is a reality uh, in life. Okay? So, uh, another thing uh, I want to bring up to you, which is also very important. So, if you are running a company, uh, and, in, and then you want to, um, you want to uh, know that in a company, actually, uh, say, your, your, your company has 200 staff. Uh, and then you're manufacturing something, say furniture. Do you know, do you know uh, that the people on the shop floor actually has a lot of idea, but those ideas never come to the top, 
All right? So it's only the bosses and the people around the bosses is always come out, coming up with ideas and how to improve uh, their, their process and also their market size, um, market segment, um, sales market. And, and there are a lot of people, a lot of sales people, a lot of uh, uh, machinists in the workshop. They actually have a lot of ideas, but they, they were never brought to life. Uh, you know why? Okay, I have to also tell you why. Now, scientists have actually also done some research. In fact, I also done uh, my research because in my PhD, uh, I, I did my PhD uh, 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 research on the Malaysian innovation system. So I could explain to you uh, about innovation in the country. But let me cut the story short. I want to talk about the uh, human. And I found out, when I found out in Malaysia, most of our company are grouped into these three groups. The people, the people work in the company. The first group, the 5% of the people in the company, they just cannot think. No matter how hard you teach them, they cannot think. When they cannot think, they cannot do. All right? So 5%, let's say you have 100 people in your company. So five people you cannot teach. No matter how you teach, here go in, they go out. Here go in, they go out. You just cannot teach them and they cannot do anything. All right? I think you have, you have faced before. Then another five percent of the people who can think and who can do. Who are these people? These are people in a top management. They can think, they can execute. The managers, they can think, they can get it done. That's why they are, you know, in an important post. So if five and five balance ninety percent. So in in the company, in the ninety people out of hundred people, what happened to these people? <laughs> <laughs> they can think, but they don't want to do. They just don't want to do. They refuse to budge. Because maybe, you know, they don't want to uh, offend their bosses. Because in Asian country, the boss is always right. So they don't want to tell the boss what to do. So because they'll be afraid. Hey, I'm the boss, man. Who are you to teach me uh, what to do? I'm a boss, so let me do my job. So some of the workers are afraid. Uh, to share their ideas to the bosses and also they are also uh, also uh, break down the system in a company where there's idea the idea never get to the top there's always this uh, box called a suggestion box right I think many company has that suggestion box but but nobody read it and I think the system is not used anymore so there's a breakdown in the channel of flow from, uh, from the worker right to the bosses there, there's already a total breakdown so um, the manpower in your company uh, if you are not careful 90 percent of them actually can think but they don't want to do all right i'm going to leave it with this question in uh, in your mind and then uh, we spoke about the diversity of the country uh, the races and the the more we are mixed the more clever we are and this has been proven and the more mixed we are not only clever we can also uh, have a better emotional control. We actually uh, could uh, be more emotional and at the same time, we have an emotional mind which, which we, we are very powerful at. So uh, this is a good point. If you compare to a, a country that is homogeneous, right? only one race, huh? you cannot get very much. You cannot get very much out of those countries because they, they don't have much to, no rooms to play about. You know, they, Everything is the same to them. Everything, let's say, is black and everything is black. And where everything is grey, everything is grey. So they, they don't have a chance to play with colours. Like here we have, we have got Indian dance, we have got Chinese dance, Chinese lion dance, we have so many things, you know. We have Chinese Kung Fu, we have got Silat and the Malayu Silat and all that. So we have got so many, many, uh, I call it fit stock. So many things to play with, so many gadgets to connect with. So many ideas to connect with actually <laughs> so that's why i'm excited about this video i want to tell you that uh, we are clever but again i want to also warn you 90 percent of the people that in in your company that in your you know the, the, the your project team they are just passenger they know what to do they know what to do but they refuse to do all right so i leave it uh to you to think about it and uh, 
you are the boss, you have to solve it. <laughs> okay, I see you in the next video and be creative slalu and I I uh, I enjoyed uh, talking to you. <laughs> I want to see you again in the next video. Okay. Bye.